So you asked how to do the subtraction uh, strip board. This is the one in our class. It is a little bit old. It's a few years old. So you notice we have the numbers rewritten in there, I guess. Uh, uh, over here on this side are the red um, pieces. And over here on the right side are the blue pieces. So the left has red, the right has blue. Um, some people are really get weird in that they have to set it up this way. Other people really are okay if one down is down there and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And some people really care about that. I have never seen a reason to really care about it. Um, so maybe someone will argue that with me here. But across the top, I took the longest of the um, brown pieces and put it next to one, above one. Then the next longest goes above two, and then the next longest above three all the way to 17. Notice that 18 has nothing above it. Um, I have a set of subtraction problems there. And when you start to do this, you want to do 10, you want to do the same number. So you could make like a booklet of the different numbers and go through it. So like this one, I did 10. So 10 minus one, 10 minus two, 10 minus three. Later on, you could even mix this up with children, but the first time it's easier to put it in a demonstration. Um, there are ways to introduce this. But I'm going to show you the main way to do this once the child's really ready for it. I'm going to take my first problem, which is 10 minus one. I'm gonna start with the 10. I'm gonna put my finger right on the 10. And I'm going to slide it up. And I'm going to take that piece right there out. I'm going to line it up so that it's covering the 18 and that it's right in line with the line going down here. And that leaves us with 10 here. So my first problem is 10 minus one. I'm gonna take my blue one, put it here. And then I can count the rest, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need the nine. And I'll put it right there. So now we could point to the child, 10, minus one equals nine. Then I go back to here. 10 minus one equals, the child will usually say nine. So we'll put nine in here. Now I will say I usually make these numbers bigger. I just kind of rush through this. So um, I would also suggest making one that's tight so it's a little bit easier. So the child can do this on their own without really having to come to you every time and you think you have a problem, okay? So we'll stick with that. Now 10 minus two is our next problem. So there's our 10 already. It's already there. Let's take the two and put it there. And at this point, after a few of these, maybe the child can go, okay, well 10 minus two is eight. They don't have to count it, right? They're already into some abstraction there already. So 10 minus two equals eight. Record our answer, and you'll go through that the whole time. When you're ready to put this 10 back, there we go, everything's set over there. Just take it carefully, I, I start up here, and I carefully slide it down, trying not to move the other pieces so that it's right back in position. Then when they're ready to do another number, if they're ready to do nine, they can do nine. Um, the answer should always be less than either nine or less so that it fits on with the uh, red things or the red tiles and that's the basics of the subtraction strip board so hope this helps yes about the subtraction snaking <laughs> I'll show you that as well if I have time I don't know if I have time to set it up right now maybe later bye